It seems an unlikely place to keep guard against atomic explosions. But at this barren outpost in Greenland, a committed team uses high science to do exactly that. Kranach is located 1,100 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. Winter temperature is an average minus 20, and we have four months where the sun does not come above the horizon. It's autumn, but Sven Derrick braves the conditions year-round to run the infrasound station. It detects atomic blasts. The station is part of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, or CTBTO's, network of sensors that monitors the globe for violations. Nuclear explosions produce distinctive, low-frequency sound waves that can travel across continents. Arrays like these record them. The station listens for nuclear noise around the clock. Engineers arrive from the CTBTO's Vienna headquarters to upgrade the station. A new antenna and radios are installed that forward data in near real time to Vienna for analysis. Now that we have these new systems, it's very easy to check this whole system remotely from the element to see if you're sending data to the central facility. A visit like this happens roughly once every three years, so a lot gets packed in. A new computer and software is installed, an audit of equipment and spares taken, and most crucial, training. For in the harsh, dark winter months to come, it's Sven Erik who's on the front line to keep the station running to catch any nuclear blasts. Thank you.